Are you going to count one, two, three before I start? Yeah. South Sudan is um, the youngest country in Africa. The country was born in the year 2011 after years and years of conflict. South Sudan has suffered so many crises and they are recurrent and uh, regardless of how much people have worked, some of them are stuck. So it's chronic in the sense that they are not going away. It's a country that still has a lot of challenges, but the resilience of the people and the willingness of the people to go out there every day to try and just make it work for them is so, so fulfilling. The major thing about chronic crisis is to be able to build the resilience of the communities to be better adapted to respond to these crises and shocks when they happen. And Netherlands Red Cross, through the chronic crisis and our response preparedness uh, projects, which are all funded by MOFA, we respond in WASH, where we improve the access to water in the communities that, without these projects before, had no access to water. We have had communities that are having a lot of conflicts in, in, in terms of cut rustling and also conflict just because of the limited resources, water being one of those. So this project has been able to not only uh, provide water access to people, but also reduce this kind of conflicts because now most communities where we work have their own water sources that we have been able to drill. Moya de kanya awel muskira ke biral gita ban na sedit. Taban haja kulo moya kan moya mafi hayata beti yom de magora morta. Lakena sedana bega morta fi beta yasan ay haja na deramol fi ay zamantaye ana ba jaramolo. Moya bega gerip ana bisilo hasab zamantaye. There were so many water related diseases. There was a lot of cholera outbreaks. There was always a lot of outbreaks in this region in terms of diseases. The malaria was equally quite high because the Nile has water most times, so there's so much uh, mosquito breeding along the Nile. So with the, with the information and also with the provisions that we have made to try to just have more people use water from the boreholes that we have constructed, now we have high sanitation levels, we have reduced disease cases of water-related diseases coming and, and even um, very rare cases of malaria because we've done a lot of awareness and we're also doing vector control through our volunteers. Fita gera tana bayanu yani fishoko la lana bamo, bika fita gera besi yani nas bika endu yani nas elaz mo bektera me na mo bas makala mata la na bwa mule yani fiti ya as la na na kana nas community de gera min haja de dera na bamo haja tani fi bela de la san kif biyibo nas fiti ya tani bara taban bera bera kulo haja. Asangaju le le todi ne lika ngapa di kwa i donki. Juju mi alo lopi yonglo bogbere agwa agwa saka ya lo kedo kodo dogu bang adori da sokoro da kolo jana kuro sini jiri di katani ya na ngona go ikaje otodi niki nye ito gelengi. It has also been able to increase the level of uh, protection and gender awareness. Because before, the women, the men and the young children used to even miss school because they're moving from one place to another to get water. But now they have water, so the children can actually be kept in school because there is water, even in the schools and their communities. Mini na ko ba ata kang na jana ron. Baru mara ko ba duri ani kiden ko kolak ti din. Ado ri ari aka fi on kunu kunu jo jo ngawre bide. Laki so ngana na ko dai ko ri anaki don ki le kang na ko talayo. Mus ke la de de ko ri ji bai. When you build a water system, you treat a water system and people are using it and you can see the faces. It's just priceless. We are also trying to equip people with uh, knowledge and also trainings and support to get alternative livelihoods. So one side of the livelihood is we have trained farmers, we have trained the communities on climate smart farming. And we also provide f seeds and inputs to the farmers to grow crops that can easily grow. On the livelihoods again, we have offered support, direct cash support and in-kind support to the women groups, the youth groups, in terms of materials, also sometimes in terms of money, to improve uh, their livelihoods. So some of them start businesses, some of them do activities that generate income. Dukana, nantu berju sukar pe, o degil pe, ades janjaro, zed, basala, halawa, buskoil, kulo aja defi mus, mille, aja sukeri, 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 ingkan besi aku jalan. Ana boleh le ros koros sukuran, ana boleh le ros koros sukuran, kangarai ana kokinyo. Asal ana murka, ana main dua aja bang, asal lu lejol, 
ana moran bi jenta bi tala ya mbodi musefa kwes wana ka bi no beta kwes beta buba no bi gobda buba bo tala ya ama basa le jeram mbodi musefa if you have a very long term funding then you can plan for short term middle term and long term response it also helps to build adequate capacity because some of these things starts with the mindset change the behavior change the attitude and also the capacities that you cannot build in a short time south sudan in particular is uh, rough so it's not the most ideal situation that someone would love but if you look at the people that you are responding to you look at the challenges that the communities have nothing beats the urge to continue to want to do that if you can make just one person smile in a day, I think for me it's just, it does it for me.